Okay, let's look at this um, graphic organizer on how to solve proportions. Remember, a proportion is a set of equivalent or equal ratios. And by set, I mean two or more, because you're going to have two or more um, equal ratios to make a proportion. And they typically look like line equals line. Well, when we learned how to do this, we start by, we started with um, using a scale factor. So let me start there. So Derek makes 10 baskets of his first 15 attempts in a basketball free throw contest. At this rate, that means it's staying constant. How many baskets will he make out of 60 attempts? So to start here, what I always start with is what I want to know. And I want to know how many baskets he can make in 60 attempts. So that's the first ratio I'm going to write. I'm going to write the one off to the right where the thing I want to know is on the top and what I and um out of how many is the other thing. So now that I know baskets has to be on top or I want baskets on the top, then that tells me I'm going to put the 10 baskets, which is the original rate in the numerator. And I'm going to put the 15 attempts in the denominator so that my side by side labels will match. So now my the 15 and the 60 match because they're both attempts and the baskets match. So for this to be a scale factor method, that means I need to find the scale factor. And the scale factor is the number I multiply by. So 15 times something is 60. So since 15 times something is 60, to find that something, I divide. So I divide with my fact family, and 60 divided by 15 is 4. So 4 is the scale factor. It's the number I multiply by. So I'm going to multiply 15 times 4, and whatever I do the bottom, I do the top, and I multiply 10 times 4. So that's how I get 40 baskets is my answer. So that's the scale factor method. The other method is creating a unit rate. And when, to create a unit rate, um, that means that I don't already have a unit rate. So let's look at this method here. Ms. Crumrine is making party mix with Czech cereal and M&Ms. The recipe calls for nine cups of Czech cereal and six cups of M&Ms. If Ms. Crumrine uses nine cups of M&Ms, how much Czech, Czech mix question mark, cereal should she use? So Czech cereal is my question mark. So that's what I'm going to put in the top of my rate. And I want to know how much checks to use with nine cups of M&Ms. So that goes in the bottom. Now, if I had a unit rate, it would go here, because the unit rate method. But I don't have a unit rate yet, so I'm going to draw one more rate over here with the original recipe. And I'm going to make sure that I put the numbers in based on the labels on the right, so that the 9 checks mix and 6 M&Ms, because I have checks mix over M&Ms. The middle rate is going to be my unit rate, and I always want to put the 1 between the two numbers that I know. So I'm going to put the 1 cup of M&Ms here, and I'm going to scale to get that. So 6 times what is 1? Well, 6 times 1 sixth. So whatever I do at the bottom, I do at the top. 9 times 1 sixth, and I get 1 and a half. So that's 1 and a half cups of checks per cup of M&Ms. And then on the bottom, I do 1 times 9 to scale up to those 9 cup of M&Ms. And then whatever I do, the bottom to the top. So 1 and a half times 9 is 13 and a half. So now I have 13 and a half cups checks. And I check it. And yes, I'm using more checks than M&Ms. So that's good. And I have the right answer. So the unit rate method has the unit rate in the center. Now, that brings me to the last method, which is the equation method. In the equation method, I'm going to have to write an equation. I'm going to write an equation here in the middle, and then I'm going to use that equation to solve to be able to find the answer. So to write the equation, I need my k value, my constant proportionality that goes here. So here's how I'm going to get it. Cameron is walking his dog. After 30 minutes, he has walked 1.5 miles. If he keeps If he keeps the same rate, how many miles will he have walked in 70 minutes? You're going to have to come back for the second part of this video to find out.